Looking for their third straight win, the Leopards head up to Worcester this weekend to take on Holy Cross at 12 p.m. Hear what head coach John Garrett and a few players had to say at this week's media luncheon. Yeah, first of all, we, we really charged our team to uh, start fast and then finish fast, and exactly what we did. Uh, the guys really uh, came out, and it started with the, the forced fumble on the kickoff return. We capitalized on that, and the defense uh, got some early three and outs and were able to build a lead. Uh, and then, you know, that's a good football team that we play. They got a lot of talented players, and uh, uh, they, uh, they made some big plays and got back in the game, uh, but we just, uh, it's, it's a credit to our team, really resilient. Uh, they never stopped believing, and they just stayed in the fight and kept punching. And then that last drive, obviously, the, the, the key play was the scramble uh, by Keegan. And uh, uh, it was perfect, perfectly executed scramble drill rules uh, where uh, Jordan Hull saw that Zadok was low and the other receiver was low, so he took it high to the space uh, and outran that, that kid. And Keegan made a great throw. And, uh, we're able to get it down into the into the red zone, and then um, you know we just went to our our red zone offense, and the guys executed and uh, had some great blocks on Selwyn's run, and he stayed up and and uh, and took it into the end zone. So that was that was key. I was I was happy for the guys. I guess with my size, it makes it a little a little bit more fun, a little bit easier out there against some guys, and um, like just being able to run routes, I could just take pride in like trying to work on my receiving ability and stuff like that. So. Like being able to go out against like linebackers and stuff like that gives me a lot of room to like work, I guess. First, talking about the pass rush, I mean like uh, everybody on a third down package, we came back a second year together. So like we just been working together and we just got that communication of what we want to do in a certain play. And we got that, we got the ability to really just be creative and what we want to do with our pass rush. And then on a uh, goal line stand, it's just a mentality that we had or been trying to build since the beginning of the season that like this is that's points on the board like right there like we can't give up we can't give up easy touchdowns we can't give up easy points like and we got to take be able to take pride in what we're doing like if and then even when you get down to the red zone everybody got to do their 111th because it's like it's a smaller surface so like one mistake is magnified absolutely no it's it's so much of it is just straight confidence. You know, it's like in weeks prior, like week, the week prior against Bucknell, it's just we had to do it, you know, and we did it. And that sort of set the precedent of us being like, yes, we can. You know, and so sort of going into this, we went up big, you know, and they sort of clawed their way back into the game. And we sat down on the bench after um, whatever, whichever drive it may have been, a Zadok's big touchdown, a three and out, whatever it was. And we sat down and said, Let's do it. It's time to go, you know. So it's like that idea of confidence um, that we're building off of week to week, um, just in regards of productive offense, productive defense, whatever it may be. And it's that's what it really comes down to is just sitting down and saying, "Let's do it." The Leopards are hoping to see more strong play from Keegan Shoemaker, who was tabbed as Offensive Rookie of the Week last week for his performance against Fordham. For all news and updates, please check GoLeopards.com. Reporting for the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm John Sabino.